and welcome to Idaho today. You know, the Olympics kicks off on Friday, and if you don't have a place to watch the action, you are in luck. Jump is hosting a watch party. So, of course, we have Callie with us right now to share us uh, to share with us all things Olympics that's happening in Boise. Good to see you, Callie. Hi. Um, we are so excited about the event at Jump. Um, there's gonna be so much going on. It's we're we're really embracing the fact that it's uh, gonna be in Paris, and we're gonna be streaming the open ceremonies on our giant jumpotron outside. If you haven't seen the jumpotron, it's the very large screen that's on the Simplot Building facing Jump. It's kind of hard to miss. It <laughs> is. It is very hard to miss. It's pretty bright. Um, yeah. So we're gonna have the Olympics playing up there, um, cool. and before the open ceremonies start at 6:30, we're gonna have a bunch of. Uh, just games and activities and things for people to do, food, lots of stuff going on. It's going to be really fun. All right, so literally a party in downtown oh, where yes. you're able to watch the opening ceremonies as mentioned this Friday. What time does all the festivities start? So our event starts at 5. Um, at 5 we'll do a little welcome. Um, we'll have accordion players out doing a little number. Um, there'll be Olympic games um, in the in the yard. Um, just a bunch of fun little silly kind of games. We'll have some, uh, some volunteers uh, running some of those games over there. Um, things like basketball, but the um, hoop is on your head. Oh, fun. Um, we'll have some like uh, <laughs> hobby horsing. If you've seen that uh, on TikTok, that's okay. a new uh, a new sport that we'll have. We'll have that. You can do some little obstacle courses on a little stick horse. Um, we'll have we'll have a couple talks by some Olympians, uh, a former Olympian as well as um, a Special Olympics athlete. Um, they're going to kind of talk a little bit about their experience on a stage. We're going to have some break dancers demonstrating because oh, cool. that's the newest Olympic sport is right? break dancing. So we're going to have a little break dancing demo. We'll have a couple other kind of silly demos. We'll have a little juggling demo. Um, there's going to be uh, plein air artists around painting uh, the scenes, which is a very French uh, yes. kind of thing. And we'll also have the Boise Circus Guild is going to be there, and they're going to have uh, mimes, and they're going to have jugglers. Can and, I ask about that? And all sorts of things. <laughs> making it, it's going to. We're going to make. We're going to bring as much of Paris to Boise as we love. can. Um, and we, we even uh, in our lobby right now we have a Love Lock Bridge craft. Oh, do you so really? So just like the Love Lock Bridge in Paris, where you with someone you love, you go and you. You put your initials on a lock and you put it on the bridge. Um, we have little paper locks that you can decorate um, however you want and then we have a little grid wall and you can go up and you put your little lock uh, on the bridge with someone you love and so we have that little fun activity going. We're gonna have uh, picnics for sale, um, lots of French food. You guys have thought of everything. We really yeah. have. We are, <laughs> we are really, we are really bringing it to Paris. We're yes. really bringing Boise Paris to, to Paris. Paris. Yes, yes, exactly. Love, exactly. Okay, <laughs> but we do have to talk about the heat though. Yes. So how are you guys dealing with the heat? Yes, so the event will still be going on even with the heat and with the air quality, we will still be holding the event. Um, our lobby will be open, so for anyone that needs to come in and get, get a little respite from the heat, the lobby is open and air conditioned. Um, we also are giving out free snow cones. So, are you serious? Uh, yeah, yeah, we're oh. gonna have we're gonna have free snow cones for anyone that wants one, or as many as you want, I guess. Marvelous. <laughs> you can come and get snow cones, um, just as a little, you know, we know we're, we're trying to keep it cool. And we'll have some water activities going as well. Um, and Jump has a splash pad that will be on. Mm -hmm. uh, we have misters over near the slide, those will be on. On. The slide will be closed because of the heat, but um, yeah, so we, we are still holding the event, but there will be there will be things to, to help escape the heat a little bit. Some accommodations in regards to the weather that we're dealing with, yes. right? Um, you'd mentioned a ton of stuff that you're providing for the, our viewers, but what can they bring to the event too? Um, yeah, I mean, you can you can bring your own uh, picnic foods if you want. We will, like I said, we will have picnics available for purchase. We've got some like croissants and some uh, like build your own charcuterie boards essentially. Oh, fun. Um, so we've got that, but people can bring, they can bring their own. Uh, we, we don't allow outside alcohol in. We will have a beer garden, so you can purchase alcohol there, but please don't bring outside alcohol in. Um, but yeah, just bring bring your kids, bring your family, and and come have some fun. I love can that. Be a really fun day. Yeah, you you can bring things, but it doesn't sound like you really need to. Yeah, we, like, we thought of everything. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> there's plenty of stuff for you to enjoy and partake in at Jump. Again, that's this Friday. The event begins at five. Opening ceremonies are at six thirty. Uh, you can watch it here on K Two B at his News Channel Seven, or you can go down to Jump and enjoy the event and watch the opening ceremonies on the Jumpotron, as Callie said. That that massive large screen that you see when you're climbing the pyramid yep. or playing on the splash pad. Yep. It's all right there. Um, and KTVB is going to be there with us. Yes. So uh, yes, yeah, KTVB will be there handing Partying out some stuff well. too. Yep. Um, so that's going to be really fun. And, and then beyond this event though, will you be showing the Olympics every day? So uh, I, I do believe that we have plans to at least uh, 
intermittently put on the Great. Olympics on the Jumpotron. So there there will be times, and we'll post about that on our social media when when there'll be times that uh, you can come down and watch the Olympics. But yeah, we should we should have it on our Jumpotron a couple times throughout the Olympics. So. Excellent. Free snow cones for all. Yes. Come on out <laughs> Friday. We would love to see you, and Jump would love to host you. All right. Thank you so much, Callie. So yeah. good to see you, and yeah. such a great event coming up. Speaking of events happening Wednesday, July 24th, is a Live After Five. It's KTVB night, actually, this week. The French cassettes, very fitting, are embracing Olympics culture for their performance as well at a Live After Five. And the event, though, is at Tree Fort Music Hall instead of the Grove Plaza, as usual. That's due to air quality and heat as well. So you're going to be moved indoors. Be sure to check out all of our Olympics content on KTVB.com. Our new staff has been working so hard to bring you everything that you need to know about Team Idaho and what you should look for during the summer games. Idaho Today will be right back.